hello hello guys uh today we have an asus laptop it's not turning on at all let's see what you need you need a charger okay the charger has been um connected and then let's connect it on the laptop Okay, there's no charging light. All right, this is bad. But anyway, don't worry. We will go through everything step by step. Press the power button. No light, nothing is turning on. Okay, so now what do you do it's easy uh, you need a multimeter a working multimeter there we go turn the multimeter on make sure the multimeter it's on the uh, DC 20 volts and then you connect the charger still there is no light and the charger has been connected <laughs> So the first thing that we need to check let's see if the charger uh does send the 20 volt we do have 20 volts on the current center okay what about the 3.3 .3 and the 5 volt anyway before we go there i want to show you something my uh my thing just broke so this is bad this is bad 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 let me find another prop okay uh let's see one more time we have 19 volts now what do you check what else you need to check the 3.3 .3 and the 5 volt okay where is the 3.3 .3 and the 5 volts okay there we go five volts is present what about the 3.3 3.3 is present but now why the machine is not turning on why the machine is not turning on at all now let's have a look so what you do you remove this Let's connect back the battery. Connect the power. Still not charging the battery. Remove this. Remove the battery. Now let's try to reset the machine. By holding down the power button for 60 seconds.
Oke, okay, it's still uh, let's see. Put back the battery. Oke. Okay. Connect the charger. Still no light. Press the power button. Ah, uh, still no light. All right. Let's remove everything. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is an port uh, memory, and then what about the other parts? Let's see what do we do. We have to check the 3.3 is there, the 5 volts is there. Uh, what else? Let's have a look at the startup chip. This this port here. Let me tell you the story about this board. This board uh, was liquid damaged before. I think it's been a year now. I can't really remember. What happened was, this is what I did. I fixed the spot. There were planes of corrosion on the spot. I'm the one who fixed the spot. I'm going to be honest. So let's go ahead and see and see what went wrong. Number one, let's check the pins. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go to what else guys so what i'm suggesting here let's just reflow the thing the startup chip but be very careful bundle
There we go. We have a light. So let's see if this machine will turn on. Yes or no, but we have a light and it's charging the battery. Anyway, I'm so happy. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Let's connect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's remove the battery. All right. Connect the string. Zara, we have a display. This is an i5 H8 Gen. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back together. This is working 100%. Anyway, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And the issue here was just those corroded carbamina resistors. And after reflowing the startup chip, everything turned on to be super fine anyway bye bye